Once you have your summing cable installed properly, open the calibration session that's right for your interface. We have calibration sessions that are made for Logic and Pro Tools and Ableton, so whatever DAW you use, you can use a calibration session to make sure your mic pre is giving you an even and equal stereo. Uh, right now we're going to use Pro Tools, and so here I have the calibration session, and what I'm going to do is set up a signal generator plugin for you. Uh, your session's already going to have these set up. I just want to show you how I set it up uh, so you can understand better how it works. So I'm going to pull up a signal generator plugin, and it defaults to negative 20 dB. Uh, so that's a reference level that you're going to start with. Uh, it's a good place to start uh, to achieve unity gain. Unity gain is the same level on your input and on your output. So I'm going to copy the signal generator over to these other tracks that are set to the different hardware outputs. Uh, line 1 and 2, line 3 and 4, line 5 and 6, and line 7 and 8. And also I'm going to assign my mix return track to input 7 and 8 and monitor output left and right. In this situation, we're setting up for using the summing cable with an external mic pre. Uh, for this mix bus, we're going to use the Thermionic Culture, the Rooster 2, that's here at our Pro Audio LA demo studio, uh, for the mix bus with the summing cable. So we're going to use the calibration session to make sure we have an even stereo left and right with our Rooster. So the summing cable is hooked from the outputs of our interface, which is a UAD Apollo, into the mic pre-inputs of the rooster. We want to calibrate it so that left and right is even and equal. To do that, what we want to do is unmute channel 1 and 2. Once we do that, we can see that our mix return fader has a little meter on it. That's good, that means our signal's going through our the Rooster mic pre, and our summing cable is working properly. So the next step is to calibrate it. So I've got signal generators on all the stereo pairs of outputs, and they're all at minus 20 dB reference level. That's a good place to start, so let's match that on our mix return fader using our mic pre. What I'm going to do is just eyeball the mic pre and try to even out the controls so that they're equal and they're set up in the same way. And so I'm just going to equal those out for starters. When I go back and look at my session, I can right click on the black volume bar until it says peak. And then when I click on it, it's going to show me what the peak reference level is for our oscillator tone coming out of output 1 and 2. I want to even it out so it's unity gain. Unity gain is the same level on the input and the output. So I'm going to achieve minus 20, which is what my signal generator is putting out, and we're going to equal that on our mix return track uh, to achieve unity gain. So we're going to do that by turning up our mic pre until our peak reference level equals negative 20. So we'll just keep command clicking on the black volume bar to uh, check and see what your peak reference level is at. Here we've got the left side perfect at minus 20. So now we just have to equal that on our right side. So I'm going to turn up the mic pre slightly on the right side and then I'll command click on the black volume bar again and there we go it's minus 20 so we know that our outputs are equal to our inputs and we're at unity gain. Unity gain is just a reference level that lets us know where we're at. With the summing cable minus 20 is a good place to start and then once you get mixing you can adjust your level from there Let's check our other hardware outputs and make sure that they are also at unity gain. So I'm just going to unmute 3 and 4, and you see it show up on the mix return fader. 
and it's at minus 20. So three and four is good. Let's unmute five and six, and also minus 20. Great, okay, seven and eight, also minus 20, perfect. So we're at unity gain on all our outputs of our summing cable. The summing cable is working flawlessly. Let's just take a listen to our tone for a second. All right, that's what it sounds like. You probably don't want to play this all the time. Keep your mix return muted when you have this calibration session up. You can achieve unity gain with a number of different settings on your mic pre. It really depends on what tone you want for your mix bus. One of the ways to do that is to drive your signal a little bit harder. So with the thermionic culture, we can do that with the attitude control. So I just turn that up to max and we see our peak reference level go up to minus nine. But we wanna be at minus 20, cause that's our starting point for our unity gain reference level. So let's just try turning our output levels down now to equal that minus 20 amount. So let me just click on the peak reference level, see where it's at. All right, it's pretty close. Minus 19.4, we're gonna just back it off a hair and get that magic number of minus 20, which is our same level we're putting out on our signal generator. Now you might have to go back and forth a few times to get the exact minus 20 level um, on your left and right signals. Exactly minus 20. Some mic pre's are easier than others to get that exact number. The rooster is a little bit difficult uh, but it'll settle in after a little while. You just have to go back and forth and keep clicking on your black volume bar to make sure you're at the minus 20 level. Okay, I think I got this one to settle here. So that's a completely different setting on the mic pre, but achieving the same negative 20 reference level. So you can see that uh, how you set up your mic pre is going to affect the tone of your mix. In this case here, it's going to be a heavily driven sound, maybe a dirtier sound. That might be right for your mix, it might not be right. So we're gonna go ahead and set this to a cleaner setting as well, just to show you how the summing cable can add flexibility to your mix bus. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the harmonic drive, and then I'm gonna turn up the outputs, and then I'm gonna turn up the inputs a little bit. When I do that, it's gonna be a much cleaner sound, because I'm not using the harmonic drive control hardly at all anymore. And this is going to give us a nice clean tone for our mix bus, but it's still going to have that fat tubey sound because it's going through the rooster tube mic pre. So I'm just going to try to achieve the same minus 20 reference level uh, by tweaking the inputs a little bit. And let's see if I can get it to settle in here. Make sure you open the correct session for the type of summing cable you're using. In this case, we're using the 8-channel TRS or DB version to built-in mic pre. Make sure all of your output tracks are muted, including your mix return, and have your mix return in input or record ready. Go ahead and unmute channels 1 and 2, and when you do that, you see it show up on the mix return fader but the reference level is not quite evenly calibrated. To calibrate it evenly, we're gonna to need to pull up our signal generator plugin. Once we have that up, we can see our reference level at minus 20. We wanna match that by turning up our mic pre's on our UA console software. And when we turn them up, we can see them on the peak reference level on our mix return track. So I just wanna even these two out at negative 20. Once we know we're even on one and two, we can check our other outputs. So I'll mute one and two and unmute three and four. And you can see that pop up at minus 20 again. I'll click on that. Yep, minus 20. All right, let's check five and six. Do the same thing, unmute, click. Yes, minus 20. And seven and eight, and now my mix bus is calibrated evenly. If you're using the 16 channel version, make sure you open the session labeled 16. Once you do that, make sure all your outputs are muted, including your mix return track, and your mix return track is an input or record ready. 
In this scenario, you're most likely using external mic pres. So make sure the outputs of your converter are plugged into the summing cable, and the summing cable is plugged into the inputs of the mic pre, and you have the mic pre outputs going to the converter inputs of your choice. In this case, I'm using seven and eight. Now I'm gonna unmute channels one and two, and when I do that, you see the signal generator plugin that's on this track show up on the mix return fader. And we want our reference level to be equal to our signal generator level. So in this case, minus 20 is equal on channels one and two. So let's go down the line through three, four, five, six, seven and eight, nine and 10, 11 and 12, 13 and 14, and 15 and 16. Now we know our reference level is equal on all of our outputs and we're ready to mix.